So here we are at Wild River State Park. It is about 10 in the morning where I'm going to be doing some day hikes around a couple of their trails that they have open here and then spend a night in one of their drive-in sites for the evening and see how that goes. I was hiking along and I saw the swans just break through the trees over there and I quickly turned the camera on and I got them as they flew right over me. That, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I hope I see them further on up the trail. <laughs> that was great. So I was filming a couple of the swans across the way and then there was a group of geese a little bit further down. All of a sudden, all the geese just took off at once from down there and they just started flying and they th flew up probably a couple hundred feet and they all landed by all the swans and that's what we're kind of looking at back here. It's kind of cool following these swans through the entire trip, you know, walking these trails. It's, it's weird, it seems like the Canadian geese are splashing around the swans and I don't know why that is. That's an odd behavior. So this is the top peak of the uh, River Terrace Loop. This is kind of the point where you would turn and go back to the parking spot. It's a really nice view. Cradles the whole river, the, at least the outside half of the loop. It's definitely a nice hike. The trail is easy to hike. There's not a lot of ice. No real elevation change. It's just a nice day hike. Nice to get out here, listen to the silence. got the camp um, it's just a drive-in so you can it's got a nice fireplace it's got a nice spot so you can set out your gear as you saw um, kind of prepare that's where I'm gonna set up for tonight I got the uh, top cover for my hammock out because it is gonna be a little bit colder and the sun's starting to go down and hopefully it should stay warm tonight My stoves that I have to cook with is I have a homemade fancy feast with carbon felt and then I'm actually borrowing a buddy's MSR pocket rocket and I tried it out a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to make my dinner on it tonight.
French vanilla is tonight's hot chocolate. So if you're wondering how I'm going to stay warm tonight, I'm going to show you real quick what I'm using. So first off, underneath me on my under quilt, I got a two-part system. I have a Costco down throw that I picked up from Costco, and then I also have my under quilt, which is a hammock gear. It goes down to 20 degrees, is as cold as it gets. I also have a hammock gear 20 degree top quilt that is essentially my sleeping bag and what I use. They have a pair of down booties that I wear and this keeps my feet warm down to like negative 10 degrees and I'm usually pretty good. That's my setup. I'm going to show you how it is and how I put it together. Well, usually in temperatures right now it's going to probably get as low as 10 degrees here tonight which isn't too bad. But what I do to get a little extra, I guess, warmth is Costco carries these uh, down throw blankets. So I take one of those and I just take it, I fold it in half like such, as you can see. And then in my under quilt, I will tuck that in there. And that will serve as an additional layer. Now I'm making sure I'm pulling it up on each side so it kind of wraps and hugs it otherwise you're going to have one side that's really cold and one side that's not come down you can see it, that it's underneath they're giving me just a couple more inches of a uh, down to keep me warm I'm just having one last cup of hot chocolate before I climb in for the night. It's a little cold. Fingers are getting cold. I need to get in the warm sleeping area. This is me, tucked in, all ready to go to bed, actually going to browse the phone a little bit, maybe read a little bit off the Kindle, and then uh, crash for the night. Oh, just so toasty warm in here. So comfy. About two in the morning, I was woken up by something underneath my hammock. Uh, yeah, it was it was not fun. If I open up the zippers, man, does it get cold? It gets cold real quick out there. It's that crisp cold, that nice cold. Can you hear the coyotes? Just in the distance, yeah. It's good though. It's a good night so far. Good night. It's about six o'clock in the morning here. I got about another two hours till the sun comes up. So I think I'm just gonna pack up and head on out in a little bit. So a couple things to know about Wild River State Park is there's four campsites that you can camp at in the winter that are drive-in. They also have numerous backpacking sites. However, if you want to camp at one of those backpacking sites, you have to call the ranger office directly. You cannot book through the online method. Another thing to note is that uh, each day that you're here, you do need a vehicle permit. You can buy a yearly permit or a day permit. Either way works. Now the trails at Wild River State Park they're wide, they're clean, they're plowed, they're easy to hike, they're easy to walk. Snowshoes, you can have snowshoes, you can have uh, regular shoes if you want to hike. 
Uh, this time of year, snowshoes weren't needed, but I do recommend ice spikes because there's a lot of uh, icy spots that were just pure ice when you're hiking them. Both of them are nice trails. They're quick, they're very short, they're day hike. They're probably for, yeah, they're quick day hikes. Overall, it's an interesting park.